Hi Market. Um, here's that video I promised to make you um, to change the attachment head on the mother support. Um, I've come into the kitchen because it's it's more uh, it's more practical I think more realistic if um, rather than me going to the workshop and using our jigs you know the special gear that we use. Um, so I'm just going to do it with basic tools and uh, so you you get a you know a true idea of uh, how to do it simply. Okay. Good idea to have uh, a nice bright coloured kitchen cloth because what we're going to do, we're going to take the bolts and the screws out and if you put them on the kitchen cloth they won't end up on the floor because they're about the size of a bogey or something like that. <laughs> really quite small so they don't, if they don't end up on the floor then you'll lose them and you won't have a replacement most likely. So tools we'll need. This is an, an Allen key and it's 2.5 millimetres. And then we'll also need a screwdriver, um, a cross point uh, Phillips head screwdriver. That's all you need. Um, and so let's crack on. Here's the attachment head. Um, and in the center, we have um, a hex bolt. That's the 2.5 millimeter hex bolt. On the other side, I'm hoping you can see this well. Yeah. We've got one, two, and three cross point screws to take out. Um, so let's uh, do the sensible thing first off is to take out the central hex bolt. Now the way I like to do this, the kitchen surface here is really quite smooth and the sucker cups will take to it. So put it down, flatten it out and Allen key to the centre of the hex bolt and away you go. And you want to take it right the way out. Right, there we go. Hex bolt onto the um, kitchen cloth. And then we can release the um, attachment head. And now we're going to go to the other side. Now, the way I like to do this is is to put the wooden side down on the kitchen cloth because it's nice and smooth and then you won't scratch it. You wouldn't scratch it on here to be honest but anyway what you're going to do now is grab hold the darn thing with the thumb, pinky and the ring fingers like so or like that and then with your index finger peel back the old sucker cup, locate your Phillips screwdriver and away you go. And make sure you undo it all the way. Just leave it in there for now. Take the next one, rotate, same again, peel it back, locate. You can sing a song whilst you're doing this. If you know any. Right, and the last one. There we go. Make sure they're all the way out. And then we can separate the aluminium. Oh, I haven't done that one all the way. Idiot. There we go. So, and we've got the wooden side. We're going to put that to one side for now. And then we're going to take out the three screws. Let's peel it back, give it a shake. There we go. Hop it. One, two, three, and then your hex bolt. So, that's cool. Now we're going to take the old sucker cups out and uh, so I've got the new ones over here, let's put the new ones on here so we don't mix them up. Now the way the, the aluminium plate is designed you've got what we call keyhole slots. So you've got a big O and a little O. So to take the sucker cup out, grow it with your thumb and your fingers and twist it and push and it will come. So this is what we call a mushroom head. In the center of the mushroom head, it's thin, and the mushroom, well, it's like a bloody mushroom, really. <laughs> That's why it's called a mushroom head. <laughs> so you can see the inner part, the stem of the mushroom slides into the smaller hole. Big uh, top of the mushroom goes through, and then the stem of the mushroom slides in there. So that's how you pull it out. We'll shut that over there out of the way. Same again, grab it, twist, pull it out, grab it, twist, 
and shove those out of the way. Now, we've got our three sucker cups, new ones over here. Word on these, these sucker cups, it took us, we did a lot of testing and we found that these are the best possible sucker cups. They're patented, made by a company in America called Adams and a uh, quality company. Um, you know, the um, quality of these is, you know, we've been using them for 10 years and we love them. Um, so they're very powerful. Each one of these will hold uh, a Les Paul electric guitar, funny enough. So they're, it's an, they're extraordinarily strong. Now to attach it um, to the aluminium plate, what I suggest you do, because they're a tight fit, is just breathe on it. So if you bring the mushroom up into your mouth, around your mouth, and just breathe on it. <sighs> a couple of times, and then this is the important part, that groove which sits on the aluminium ferrule insert goes that way. Let's put this over, sorry. So I'll do that again. The groove there goes on top of the aluminium insert. So in order to put the sucker cup in, make sure this groove, okay, is uppermost. Grab it, put your thumb on the groove and then take your sucker cup, breathe on it again. <sighs> Top of the mushroom goes through, and then the stem, you squeeze it in like that. Twist as you do it. Now, breathe on it again. <sighs> One breath is usually enough. Twist and twist until it's right up to the stop. Rotate again, same again. Nice big breath, whim off. Right, and then the last one's in. So you can see the, they're right up to the stop. And now, if they're not right up to the stop, when you come to put it together, it won't go together. So, let's have a look here. Um, the groove to the insert. So let's put that on. And then we're ready to start screwing up. Now, if you got that wrong, and you did it that way this would rock around all over the place you can see you can't uh, so you know you won't be able to put it in the wrong way so let's get that groove in the right place get yourself in the groove and then we're ready to put our screws in good tip here for um, what you do is you load up your uh, screwdriver small screws so get it into the cross put your index finger onto it and that will hold it see there and now with your left hand, peel back just like you did before and just line up that hole. Go down with your screw, run it in and screw it in halfway. Okay. Uh, I used to work on helicopters, so we used to put um, panels on um, with hundreds of screws. And if you don't just put the screws in, locate them all. When you come to do them up, um, they won't line up or you won't be able to get the last one in. So what we do, the, um, now it, it's all loose. So when we come to put the next one in, we can faff it around like that till the hole lines up, ram it in. Okay, and just screw it halfway so the whole thing's loose. And it means that the last hole that we come to do will line up nicely. There we are, lined up. Now this one, we can screw all the way. Now I don't use the ratchet on the screw, you they get on my nerves. Noisy, being a musician, don't like noise. Right, good sounds. So when you screw it in, push down really hard. Don't be tempted to over tighten it though. <laughs> yeah, um, if you over-tighten it, you, the screws will uh, grind out. They're really small, yeah? One, two, three, go. Push down as you do it. Really hard for the last bit. And all it needs to do is go flush with the aluminium. And the last one, what's bloody hell's that one? Quick check. Uh, yes, yeah, that one. Duh.
with the wiki. So here we go. The last one. Push down as you do it. Push down nice and firmly. Just get it to line up flush with the aluminium. There we go. Now check it all the way around. Yeah, it's flush with the woodwork. Last job then. Let's put the hex bolt back in, back in, and we're going to ram it down onto the surface. Get the hex bolt. Load up the hex bolt. Get it on the hole. Push down, and then let's screw it in. There we go. And again. No need to over tighten, just pinch it a little. That's yeah, fine. And there we go, it's ready for back in service, yeah? Um, everything's tickety boo. It's looking good. Sucker cup's great. What I like to do is line the tabs. You can always twist these around, by the way. Line the tabs so they're all out like that. Out, out, out. So when you come to well, I'm sure you know this already because you've been using it a while. When you come to remove it and from the guitar, you can grab all three at once. That's great. So there we are. Now, I hope that's good enough for you. If you have any problems um, and you don't want to do it, just send it back to us. It's just the cost of shipping. And we'll fit the sucker, up, sucker cups for you free charge. No problem at all. I uh, want to get you back on the guitar, sported. So there we are, Monica. I hope that was useful. Um, like I say, get in touch and I'll get our Joe to uh, uh, to fit a new one for you if needs to be. Okay, my lovely. Look forward to hearing from you. <laughs>